I'm gonna do a quick poem. Okay. I'm gonna get it down. Well, let me shut up. Yeah, okay. That's all right. That's all good. Make Don't make it too quick. All right, I got two quick poems okay. now. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is one I worked on last month, and it's a piece that I did in the shower. I do a lot of writing in the shower. I just gotta keep a notebook just right there, handy, ready to go. Is it waterproof? <sighs> it's, it's not waterproof. I just gotta jump out the shower, get my writing in, jump back in. Bars, No, I'm not. No, no nipple shirts. No nipple shirts for me. No, no. We got all that energy off stage. It's, it's gone. It's right here in this bag. Of apples. All right. I'm gonna right. spit at least three bars, maybe four. Do what you do. All right. Accountability. Backstage, baby. This is a super quick poem, and then I'll do one more. All right. I'm gonna teach you how to be accountable, even though you can be a cannibal. Holding your hand out like it's handable, devouring everything that's not even edible. See, you're not gonna be the enabled animal. Marching uphill like a man manable. Faking the fantasy because it's fandable. Uh -huh. Counting fake fans because it's Instagrammable. Word. See why you Facebook and tweet hooking, Snapchatting, snapbacking, hat racking, sneaker stacking, rat rapping, telling all them secrets in disguise, but I can always read between the lines. Because okay. you puzzled. And you got 10 tenacious tactics trying to touch my style. Nine nasty Negroes nagging, they gonna be waiting for a while. Eight incompetent individuals' pride is about to become mine. Seven men, six stomaching his chicks, ways of spitting a rhyme. Six sack, give a dog a snack, why you biting off of my line? Five forceful fresh, changing nothing but nursery rhymes. Four vicious pits, poetically trying to kill. My time? Three deadly words victimizing, terrorizing, chastising your mind. Two proud people pimping poetry as we approach the end. One woman standing in front of you, guaranteed to take you down in 10. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. I was playing. I was playing. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. I do do stage coaching, so if you need a stage coach to help you get on stage, I love coaching the stage. You know, I throw a little basketball mixed with a little acting in there. So uh, they getting this together. So I'm gonna do this poem. I actually wrote this poem from a, for a friend of mine. I'm originally, most of y'all know, from Chicago. So been here now for about uh, 15 years. So this poem was written for a friend who her mom died of an overdose of drugs. But this poem goes back and forth. I'm just gonna do the first piece of the poem. This little girl is talking to her mom from heaven. She's 15 years old, her mom is down on earth, and she's talking to her. She's in heaven, okay? If I tell you that I'm gone, would you believe me? See, I am physically in front of you, but you don't see that it's me. And then I try to shout as loud as I can, but still you don't seem to understand that I'm that child that dashed across the street. That rainy time you didn't meet me after school. And see, I'm nobody's fool. I'm seeing the way you drinking and driving and getting hot and all those lies. Oh, wow. You. See, I miss all the things that we used to go through together. They tell me that love don't last forever. At that time, I was 10 and now I'm 15 and you still a fiend. I mean, didn't you learn anything? While you were out getting drunk and how you let me die in the streets. Because after school, you did not meet me, and that day, that day, I walked home alone in the rain, and I got hit by a drunk driver. My God. And see, she jumped out the car to see if I was okay, and still to this day, I remember how I felt. And I thought to myself, is this 
what I have to do in order to get some attention from you? But still, still you did not recognize me. So again, I ask you, if I show you that I'm gone, would you believe me? See, I am physically in front of you, but you don't see that it's me. Sing, sing, sing. That's the first part of that. Wow. I thank Uncle Pete for getting this opportunity. I thank God. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle. He's been amazing, y'all. Get to know this man. This platform is much needed. It brings everybody together. Comedians, poets, gospel artists, hip-hop artists. And we need everybody, so it's a beautiful thing. Coming to the stage is my brother. Put your hands together. John Valen. Let's go. What's going on, Blue Crawl? Y'all make some noise. Oh, I want to move these apples just in case I, I decide to utilize a little bit of the stage. 